man. So, Marlon Wayans hit social media with a huge announcement saying that Scary Movie is back with the Wayans family. Now, if you guys don't remember, the Scary Movie's franchise was stolen away from the Wayans. He spoke about that on Club Shay Shay in detail. I'm going to play y'all that sound bite, but first, let's get to this newest side of news, man. I got to check this out. So, Marlon says, last week I said I had a huge announcement to make. Well, here it is. We're back. After nearly 20 years, the Wayans brothers are finally going to give fans what they've been asking for, a return to the Scary Movie franchise. We're looking forward to having fun on the big screen again. So it says exclusive, the Scary Movie reboot that was announced at CinemaCon has finally come together with the franchise's architects reuniting for the first time in 18 years for a new original screenplay. The earlier series, a send up of slashers like Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer, the new Scary Movie will shoot next year for a theatrical release. The Waynes and Rick Alvarez are writing and producing the movie. So the Scary Movie film franchise was developed by Marlon Wayans, Sean Wayans, and Keenan Ivory Wayans. Keenan Ivory Wayans wrote and directed the first two films. Marlon Wayans and Sean Wayans wrote and starred in the first two films. So Merrimax boss Jonathan Glickman exclaimed, We are thrilled to reunite Scary Movie with the Wayans brothers, the brilliant creators behind the beloved franchise. The timing is perfect to bring back the series to the big screen, and we're lucky to have Keenan, Marlon, and Sean's unique comedic vision bringing it to audiences around the world. Marlon, Sean, and Keenan Wayans told us we couldn't be more excited to be a part of the new Scary Movie and work with each other again. This is a franchise we created more than 20 years ago. We remember people laughing in the aisles and hope to see that happen again. We look forward to working with Jonathan Glickman and his team at the new Merrimax to bring these laughs to the theaters where they belong. It's a double reunion. Man, shout out to them boys, man. Like I told y'all before, during Marlon Wayne's visit to Club Shay Shay, he spoke about this. So I'm gonna play all the audio from that clip right there. Peep this, man. Harvey Weinstein and his ev evil, ugly brother, Bob. I'm gonna have to drink on this, man. You know, uh -oh. talk about it. He, now, see, you waited for four shots in before you start getting juicy. <laughs> And then this thing got real hot all of a sudden. Did you turn this up? Um, I think in Hollywood you always get crappy deals. The fr but that, that's for that's not your your sixth, seventh or eighth deal. Maybe your first one. I think the first one we got a crappy deal, definitely. But the second one, this first one was so big. You know, we opened at forty two million dollars. Yes. Which was unheard of. Yes. And they try to say for a black director that was a record breaker. No, that was a record for just a comedy director, period. And that's what I love about Keenan. Keenan was like, no, 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 don't, don't you put the black label on me. Don't you minimalize or marginalize my success by you trying to label it. it. Let's let that bleed so that other black people can know that there's not such a thing as just black success. Because black success has a ceiling. No, just success. And I just so happen to be black. Mm -hmm. And that's what, how he wrote. And you know, it was huge. So they was trying to make a deal for the second one the week enough because they seen the track and they know it was going to be huge. So we got a good deal in the second one. Right. You know, we got a 20 against 20 deal. And then Miramax did what they did. You know, they was they I always say, you know, they didn't just rape and molest women. They raped niggas, too. <laughs> and molested us in them deals. They they were terrible people. But God comes for you. Mm -hmm. All the toxic things that you did to me and my family. We, took the franchise from us, took it from us. That was a franchise that, because, and then they stole the idea for the third one. Right. We as gentlemen, we walked away from the third one because it was like, well, first of all, they took it from us, put it in and gave it to somebody else because we couldn't make a deal. So they gave it to somebody else and they didn't tell us. They read about it in the papers. We was like, okay, cool. So then that crapped out because I'm going to tell you something. You can try. You can try. You can't do weigh-ins shit without the weigh-ins. Yeah. You can try, but eventually you're going to lose a lot of money. Because what we do is special. We have 200 years of comedy between me, Sean, and Keenan. Damon, Kim, we have a lot of years of right. excellence of what we do. You can't just put anybody on to, oh, well, they're going to just do it. You can't do what we do. Right. You can do a version. And so they did the third one, took the idea, we pitched them. Because we, we came to the table, we said, all right, if you want to do this, we're going we gonna to get a 30 against $30 million deal. Because you made this much money on the first one, you made that much money on the second one, we're going to get 30 against 30. All right? Okay, bet. We come in, Keenan has the meeting, pitches his idea. 
They go, we love it. We're going to make an offer. They make an offer for what we made on the first one. But hold on. We, you, you just said we're going to, okay, you, you got us on the second, first one. Mm-hmm. We did okay 20 for 20 on the second one. We're going to do 30 for 30. Mm-hmm. Ain't no offer to be made. You already told us what we're going to get on the third one. Mm-hmm. How you going to make an offer? Yeah, you feel that outrageous feeling that you feel? Yeah. That's what we felt. <laughs> <laughs> Times three. <laughs> so we was like, you know what? No. You, we told you what it was. You're not playing gentlemanly. So we went and pitched that movie, and we pitched White Chicks to five other places. Everybody bid. So then they come and go, okay, we're going to come over the top, and we're going to pay you, I think it was like a 20 against 20 deal, whatever. And but we, you got that on the second 22 one. against 22. And we no. Was, we was like, no, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go do this movie with Joe Roth and Revolution. And they took the idea, and I was like, oh, fuck you. So they took the idea, they hired the Zucker brothers, and they brought them on to do Scary Movie 3 based on the idea that we told them. Now, you got that one off. Part four didn't do as well. Because now... You, yeah. ain't got, you ain't got the Marlins, first, idea. you ain't got the Williams idea. Yeah, the first one, you could uh, you could fool the audience. They see Anna, they see Regina, they're like, oh, okay. And then they get to like, hey, whoa, 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 this... This, this don't, I like Regina and, and I love Kevin. I love Anthony. I do, but this don't taste like Wayans. Then you do the fourth one, Diminishing Returns. Then you do the fifth one. And the fifth one, I was doing Haunted House at the time. I showed Haunted House to them because I was looking for distribution. They were trying to buy it and shelve it. But they tried to take the ideas that I had in Haunted House and apply it to Scary Movie 5. But you don't know the formula. So they offered, we said, no. I took it to, uh, 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 what was the name, Open Road. Mm-hmm. And we got, uh, what was the name, uh, uh, another company to give us the marketing budget, mm-hmm. end game. And I made that movie for a million and a half dollars. It opened to $19 million, which is huge. Yeah. Went on to make $70 million worldwide. Scary movie, five or six, whatever it was, it died. And they spent a lot of money to make that movie. Now that money that you spent making that movie, you could have saved you some money and made some money. And you could have recouped the money that you spent making All the movie. you gotta do is pay the professionals that do it. And I'm not asking you for anything that's crazy. I'm just asking for you to respect what the craft is right. and what we know how to do. I wanna all make money together. And then, but God, it's everywhere, mm-hmm. right? So we didn't retaliate. We did nothing with it like this. You didn't file no lawsuit like he did? We should have. We should have. We didn't. Go like this. All good. We go on, made our money. White chicks made another classic. This little man made another classic. We do our thing. Right. Fast forward to, you know, sometimes you ain't got to do nothing. Because God's going to do it all. God's revenge. When God comes for you, you got to trust God. You don't retaliate. Vengeance is mine. They took Miramax. This company, Miramax. Mm -hmm. Disney took it. Then they had the Weinstein Co. And then all this stuff started going down with the rape allegations. And they took that company too. And now your brother's in jail and you ain't in the business. I didn't have to do nothing. Right. All you had to do was be good businessmen. Right. We asked for nothing. We did nothing wrong to we you. Didn't ask for enough, any, we didn't ask for anything that but we didn't But sometimes earn. they get mad that a black man has a nerve to ask for what his money supposed to be. Don't you tell me what I'm supposed to make. This is what my value is. And if you want that, then you're going to have to pay me what I'm worth. And if not, hey, man. I'm going to keep it moving. I ain't, I ain't got no beef. And we just didn't make a deal, so I love, right. I'm gonna take these great ideas and go somewhere else. Right. But don't be mad that you had to pay me for what I feel my worth is. Mm-hmm. Terrible you, people. Did you know that that was going on behind the scenes? Had you heard whispers of things that he was doing to women or people that were trying to get in position? Did you hear anything about that? Did you know anything like this was going on? I hear things. Right. But, you know, he never 
Tweedle in my book. He, he, <laughs> he, 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 he probably nigga never he, asked me for a foot massage. I, I'd have been like, man, if you don't get the fuck out of here. But if I had her, like, if I'd have known somebody, if somebody came to me, I'd have pulled up on them. Hey, man, don't do that. I ain't gonna tell you how to do your business, but you ain't gonna do that business to my people. Right. Don't do that. That's just, that's just not how you conduct your business. If you want people to be successful, you don't use your weight to try and get something from somebody. You should want people to be successful for themselves and the feeling that you get is the fact that you help nurture them and make them successful. This other thing, uh, that, that's toxic. Okay, man, I was messed up, but at least everything got fixed. It's all back cool, everything back cool. Now, me, myself, personally, I got to go ahead and check out the latest scary movies and the new ones coming out so I'm able to catch the references when they put out theirs. I believe it probably come out in two years, it seems. You feel me? They're going to film next year. They'll probably come out in a year or two or some shit. So, hey, man, I'm excited, man. Y'all got to let me know what you got to say in the comment section below. Me, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, though. This another update with Stace. Yo.